Hello and welcome to this pod test video tutorial. My name is Rex Jones II and I will be your instructor. You can follow me on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and GitHub. All of the source code will be on GitHub. You can also go to my website at rexjones2.com, R-E-X-J-O-N-E-S-2.com. The complete pod test video tutorial consists of 12 topics, starting with an introduction to pod test, followed by how to install pod test. Then we will transition to running our first test in pod test. After running the first test, we're going to cover assertions in pod test and run multiple tests. Also a subset of the entire test. Next, I will demo how to group more than one test using markers. The seventh topic is pod test fixtures with Selenium, then parameterize tests in pod test. For number nine, we're going to skip a test and stop a test, then walk step by step on how to create a page object model in pod test. I will also demonstrate how to generate reports and how to perform cross browser testing on Lambda test using pod test. Those are the 12 topics for this pod test tutorial. By the end of this session, session you will learn what is pod test, also how to install Python, and how to install PyCharm. There is a package manager called pip. You will see the power of pip, which comes with Python to install packages like Selenium. Finally, how to install PyTest. Number one, intro to the PyTest framework. Let's talk about what is PyTest. PyTest is a Python test framework. Python is the program language. PyTest is a tool that helps us to write our test with an easy approach. The purpose is to create better programs. In addition to creating better programs, PyTest also supports complex functional testing for our software applications. Most test frameworks like PyTest contain the ability to create and execute test scripts, generate test reports, generate logs, read test data, and write test data. Combining PyTest with Selenium allows us to write a scalable test for different types of testing, such as regression testing, cross-browser testing, database testing, and many other test types. That's it for the introduction to PyTest. Next is how to install PyTest. There are a couple of items we need to install before installing PyTest. Those two items are Python for programming and PyCharm, which is the IDE. Then we install PyTest. Let's begin with installing Python by going to the website. The website will help us to download Python. The URL for Python is python.org forward slash downloads. It's available for different operating systems such as Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac, and other operating systems. I already have Python set up and PyCharm installed. Let's go through those steps anyway. The first step is to click the download button. To continue with installing Python, after clicking the download button, you must go to the location of your file. The file name should be like this example, python-versionnumber.exe. Double click that file. Then a dialog shows install now and customize installation with two checkboxes. The two checkboxes must be checked. The first one is use admin privileges when installing Py 
.exe. The second checkbox is add python.exe to path. Then click customize installation. On the next screen, there would be five checkboxes on the optional features dialog. The second checkbox installs PIP, which is an acronym for package installer for Python. Click the next button and you will see this advanced options window. The first checkbox, install Python 3.11 for all users would not be checked. Now I have 3.11. You may have a different version, but it would not be checked. Click that box, then click the install button. At this point, your installation should start setting up Python. After the setup is successful, you can go to your command prompt to see the Python version. To access the command prompt, go to your start menu if you have Windows and type CMD. Enter Python 2 hyphen versions or Python 1 hyphen V. That's it for installing Python. Next, let's install PyCharm. For PyCharm, let me also go to the website. And that website is JetBrains.com forward slash PyCharm. The page says PyCharm, the Python IDE for professional developers. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and it is a special text editor with the purpose of helping us write our source code and run our source code. In addition to writing and running our code, PyCharm let us know if we made a mistake with our code. On this page, click the download button. After clicking the download button, we see three operating systems. Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, there is a choice between two versions. Professional version and community version. The professional version is a paid version that comes with a 30-day free trial. However, the community version is always free and it has everything we need to write our tests. So I recommend clicking the download for community. Then you go to your downloads folder. On that folder, you will double click the PyCharm.exe file. At this point, you must set up PyCharm. Click next on the setup dialog and next one more time for the destination folder. We can browse for a different location rather than choosing the default location. Here are the installation options such as adding a shortcut to the desktop. The next screen allows us to install. Those are the options and the steps for installing Python. Now, let me show you how to install PyTest. For PyTest, let's go to PyCharm. And we create a new project by clicking File, New project. I would name this project PyTest Tutorials. Bingo. And I got to spell it right because it's going to be our project. We have the option of choosing new environment using virtual ENV or previous configured interpreter. Either option is good to choose. I would keep the default. Then click the Create button. Let's open this project in a new window. Now, when it finished creating a virtual environment, a main.pop module will show up. Module is the Python file. Also, there is more than one way to install PyTest. My plan is to demo both ways then you can decide which way is best for you. We can install using the terminal at the bottom, or we can install by going to File, Settings. Let me close this main 
dot pi. Now, through the terminal, we write, let me close this here, and we can clear this by writing CLS, or we can clear by writing clear. Get rid of the red writing. Now, we write PIP, which is PIP, which is the package installer for Python that I mentioned that can also install packages like Selenium. Now, once I write PIP, we see different things that help us to use PyTest. I'm going to clear this again. And I'm going to put pip install pytest, then press enter. And we see it shows it has been installed because it shows us all of the things that shows us package has been installed. Pip, and we can upgrade it also because I have the version 22.3, but we can upgrade to 22.3. It shows requirement already satisfied because I have PIP already on my system. Now, that's it for installing PyTest. We can also uninstall PyTest if you wanted to. Now, to uninstall PyTest, let me show you that part because we can uninstall PyTest by doing PIP uninstall. And Next is to write PyTest, if I can spell it right. But before I do that, you see this URL that shows app data, Roman, Python, Py 3, 11. I'm going to add that to my environment variables. So to go to environment variables, I'm going to start menu search for environment variables. And the reason why I'm going to add this to environment variables, because you may come across a message that says not on your path. It'll say the scripts, it may be a warning that says the scripts pi.test.exe and pytest.exe are installed on your path location. And then it's going to show that path location, but it's going to show that note that says not on path. And you get that warning, I'm going to show you how to add it to environment variables. If you don't get that warning, it's okay. But if you get that warning, you go to environment variables by clicking the start menu, type in environment variables, and then get this prompt. When you get this prompt, click environment variables. And then you go to system variables. Scroll down to path. And then you click edit. And you paste that path after clicking edit. And that's it. Once you paste that path, that's all you need. Then you click OK. And you can also verify if it's there or not by clicking Edit again just to make sure. Click OK. And then click OK again. And now that path has been added to environment variables. Now, to verify if you have PyTest, let me just remove that and just write pip list. And when you do pip list, you will see if you have PyTest. And yes, PyTest is here with version 7.20. Now, let me show you how to uninstall PyTest because there are two ways to install. I'm going to uninstall here and then come back and install the other way. To uninstall is what I showed a moment ago by writing pip uninstall and then you write pytest and click enter and it's going to ask you to proceed with y or n press y and press enter again and now you see it shows successfully uninstalled pytest 7.2.0 now let's reinstall pytest by going to file settings Navigate to Project PyTest Tutorials. Then select Python Interpreter. If we hover the plus symbol, it shows install, and the minus symbol shows uninstall. 
Notice we do not see pod test in the list of packages. Click the plus symbol to install, then type pod test. There are many pod test options, but we select the first option that does not have a hyphen. Click the install package button at the bottom and wait for it to install. And a message should say Python, Python, PyTest installed successfully. So we're still waiting after clicking the button. And we see that it's installing. Bingo, we see the message that says package PyTest installed successfully. That's it for installing PyTest. Next, we will run our first test using Selenium. If you would like to learn more, then make sure to follow the blogs at www.lambdatest.com forward slash blog and community.lambdatest.com. In addition to the blogs, you can earn a certification at lambdatest.com forward slash certifications. Get educated, get recognized.